you've probably noticed sickness is spreading in our area and some schools are trying to get ahead of the wave. Polk County Schools and Richard Hardy Memorial School will be closed tomorrow because of illness. Channel 3's Allison Pryor is at Richard Hardy Memorial in Marion County with an update and on best practices helping reduce the spread of illness. Hello, Allison. Hello, David here at Richard Hardy Memorial School. They were closed today and they'll be closed again tomorrow. This is specifically due to increased absences from the flu. Now, students won't come back until next Wednesday. They did thoroughly clean the school yesterday and they'll do another cleaning prior to students returning. In Polk County, the school system is reporting a combination of flu, stomach virus, and upper respiratory illness affecting students and teachers, which is the reason they made the decision to close on Friday. We checked in with Hamilton, Bradley, and Whitfield County schools. They all report no significant absences right now. They are continuing their standard cleaning practices to keep the school environment healthy. For teachers and parents, there are preventative measures you can take to reduce the risk of becoming sick. I recommend them to clean the classroom every day with um, disinfectant wipes after their children have gone home or if they have a child that's sick to wipe down that area with disinfectant wipes. Wiping down any commonly touched surface, such as doorknobs and counters, is important both at school and at home. Then, hand washing is the best thing you can do to prevent the spread of germs. And the way I teach kids to wash their hands is I teach them to sing happy birthday. And that gives them enough time to get all the surfaces of their hands wet and um, disinfected with soap, and then they're able to rinse it off. Kids should also learn to cover their mouth when coughing. Nurse Fox recommends coughing into your elbow. Teach your kids not to touch their eyes, nose, or mouth. If your child is sick, please keep them at home. Common flu symptoms for kids are fever, headaches, body aches, and even vomiting and diarrhea. The best thing you can do is if your child's sick and you're not sure if they can come to school, is you know, you're, place a call to the school nurse. School nurses will be able to help you with the best course of action and whether more medical attention is needed. Now, if your child does have a fever, Nurse Fox recommends a visit to your health care provider. Reporting live here in South Pittsburgh, Allison Pryor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.